Hi, welcome to edsguitarlessons.com. I'm just going to do a demo here on showing how to uh, install uh, new pickups on a Telecaster. Um, and uh, basically, uh, we're going to be putting in Tex Texas Special Tele pickups um, that uh, you have here. Here's the neck pickup with three wires a black, white, and yellow. And then here's the bridge pickup. Uh, which is two wires and it's a yellow and a black. Uh, when you buy these pickups from the uh, uh, Fender uh, Custom Shop, uh, it comes with some instructions. Okay, so there are instructions to tell you how to do it uh, there. And so uh, that's very helpful. There'll be some things I'm sure that we'll have to uh, look at because the color coding isn't right, but uh, um, I'm sure we'll be able to figure that out. Okay, I've already taken the screws out, um, and so we can kind of remove the control panel there with the switches and the uh, pots. And I took the screws off for the uh, pick guard and to expose the uh, the um, neck pickup. Okay, and of course you can see that they're routed through here and um, through a hole that goes into the control area that connects to the switch and to the pots. Okay, uh, We're going to have to take this bridge off uh, here and that means we're going to have to take all these saddles off and I would suggest numbering them uh, so that you know which one goes where. Quote, um, and uh, so we'll do that next. Um, this is not shielded at this time. I'll probably do a little shielding in here inside the cavity and on the back of the pit guard to help with some uh, static issues, uh, noise and popping that you can get from um, uh, single coil pickups uh, and you know strat style. Anything with a large plastic pickup it uh, develops uh, static electricity so you can uh, use different materials. There's a copper material that you can use there. There's special paint for this. Uh, I probably won't do this inside here. I'll just make sure that the grounding's done really well uh, inside the cavity. Um, but I will um, definitely put some uh, uh, um, a shielding on the back of this. And it's basically you can use copper and there's some aluminum shielding that you can buy that has an adhesive on the back. And that's probably what I'll do to kind of help that situation out. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and uh, see you in a sec here. So after you take each saddle off uh, with the screw that's in the back there, it's got a spring on it. I suggest you keep them in order and or number them underneath where you can't see the number with a little fine tipped uh, sharpie or something. Or you can just keep them in a nice neat row uh, so that you can, um, you know, know which one goes where. Okay, so um, I have them all laid out here uh, in a row in the order that they came out. Uh, then you see these three screws exposed here uh, that you loosen up to uh, take the, uh, the bridge off. You can see them right here, They're under, they were underneath the saddles. Okay. And then once you take these three screws out that hold down the uh, bridge, you can see that it easily comes off and exposes the underbelly there of the, uh, of the bridge. And you can see the three screws that uh, hold on the, um, the uh, pickup there. So I'll be taking this apart uh, and this does look like it's been shielded with uh, paint there you can see this paint this black paint inside here okay and that's a shielding paint it's a special paint to help so I think with the shielding that's gone on in here uh, with that special paint um, and with the shielding that I'll put on the back of this telly is going to be pretty pretty quiet okay uh, by the way, I'm going to go back to these uh, these saddles. Uh, these saddles basically uh, have the screw here so you can adjust it back and forth for your intonation on the guitar. You have to uh, 
adjust the intonation and that's what you use this screw for is it fine tunes it so that you can make sure that on the 12th fret you have the same tone as you do with an open string and if I have time I'll show you how to do that okay so that's what uh, the purpose of the saddles it also these are dual adjustable they have two allen wrenches in them two very small allen wrenches to adjust the height of each individual string which makes it very nice and uh, very uh, useful uh, to be able to get a nice action uh, for your guitar. Okay? You'll see once you loosen these three screws uh, for the pickup, it drops out the bottom so you're able to access it and access the wires that you need to access. Okay? Um, and you'll notice that when you flip this over, there's these rubber. Um, washers, grommets, whatever you want to call them, uh, and they act as the springs that when you so you when you adjust the height of the pickup, they act as a spring to keep it uh, steady in there. So they're not the pickups just not floating around, but uh, they act as springs. They're almost it's like a surgical rubber is what it is, but they act like springs. But they go on the backside just like that. Okay. And I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll zoom in to this point right here. There's, uh, these are the holes, uh, uh, basically, that the strings come through. And these are the three holes that hold the bridge plate on. But then there's a smaller one here, and it looks inconspicuous. I'm pointing to it right here. Basically, it's, um, it's the grounding wire for the, uh, for the pickup, OK? It's one of the grounds, and it's just a piece of wire that's uh, that's going to all the other grounds. They're all interconnected with one another. One ground connects to another, and basically it rubs up against the plate. Okay, um, and that's how this plate is grounded. So they try to ground everything to stop humming and so forth. Okay, so um, but it basically comes as you put the plate down then the grounding wire is going to go right there and uh, right there and uh, then ground out the, the plate. That's why you want to make sure these three bigger screws that hold the, the plate to the body of the uh, guitar are tight. You know, you don't want to over crank them. It's, you're cranking into wood. You can strip them out um, because that it provides the ground just by pressure. It's not soldered on there. It's just a pressure thing. I'll probably pull the wire through and make sure that a little bit more is sticking out. And that way I know I got a nice good ground on there. Okay? So that, that becomes very important. One other thing, since we're talking about holes and stripping things out, you got to be careful. You're dealing with wood, not metal. Even though this is metal, it's going into wood. You can over crank it. And I'm sure you experienced it before with, a, with the uh, pick guard. Uh, if you've been around guitars for a while, uh, that you'll find a screw that goes in and it, it, it just has been stripped out. Uh, you could either put a wood filler in there uh, to help with that, but I remember an old trick that a friend of mine told me uh, many, many years ago, um, and he would use a tooth, uh, toothpicks. He would just jam toothpicks down in there, and uh, that way when you cranked in, the toothpicks would add, act as a filler, a natural filler for it, okay? and it works pretty good. Just don't over crank things. That's all you gotta kind of remember. Go down when it's snug. Uh, you don't you don't keep going after that. You snug it down nice and firm, and then back up. You know, and then leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Got the new wiring uh, going here, and um, the old pickup had just two wires. Okay, it had uh, a black and a white. The new Tex-Mex has three. And according to the diagram, you use the yellow wire and you just ground it, okay? And then um, I would go ahead and use the black wire and take it to a ground uh, near, you know, the pot. We'll, we'll route it through here because uh, that's where the black and white one from this old pickup came, uh, went through, you route it through a black and white here, and I would take the black 
one that comes through here from the new pickup and go to a ground here and then I would take the white one that's going to end up going through the hole and go to the first post um, as it shows in the diagram there that uh, actually on the diagram it shows um, the black one going there but I think it's I don't think it's correct uh, it seems like it worked better when I um, was able to go white on white on the first post um, as you flip this over and you compare it with the diagram um, I just went white with white right there on the first post because um, on the diagram it does show that the white the, one of the wires comes straight to the first post so I went ahead and just kept the color code correct there I would imagine um, because this is a coil is what we're dealing with you know when you're talking about a um, pickup it's just wire wrapped around and um, some magnets okay and um, so you know you got a just a wire wrapped around um, magnets and then the other end of the wire comes out okay so it's in and out so um, technically uh, I'm no super expert but I would think that that's okay I seem to have no hum when I did it that way just making white with white and black to a ground uh, black seems to be a real common thing for um, grounding um, so uh, I went with that okay and basically what we're talking about is either going to be one side or the other of the wires you know um, an in and out pots having in and out the switch just basically is turning things on and off you know it's connecting either the, the bridge pickup both pickups or just the neck pickup so that's what a switch does it's it's just bridge um, pickup uh, in the middle it connects both pickups and then when you go to the front it just takes the front pickup so I'm just using basic theory here I didn't see much online about any of it so um, kind of playing it by ear and I think I'm gonna be fine I've done pickups before so the worst case scenario is I'm gonna to have to change the black and white wire but I don't think I'm gonna to have to so um, I think I'm safe so I'll continue on uh, the back pickups easier because it is just two pickups I mean two wires and so I'm just gonna go and it's yellow so it does match and the black is a ground so it's real easy on the back one on the bridge because uh, it matches exactly with what, what we're dealing with. The only one that was a problem was the lipstick pickup because it the original American had two. The the new one has three. And I can't find any documentation on it. So I'm just going with uh, just some electronic understanding and knowledge of how things work. Yeah, I'm going to use... So, uh, anyway, that's where I am. This uh, aluminum... aluminum uh, material here uh, to do the shielding in the back. You get this in auto parts store. Uh, they sell it. Um, it's got a sticky back on it and uh, you just cover as much as you can on the back side. Uh, shiny side up of course it's going to stick. You don't want it sticking out and seeing it so you keep it you know a couple of you know, five ten millimeters away from the edges of everything and then make sure that this is connected to a grounding source okay either by a wire uh, is what I use and uh, I just put the wire on here then I tape it down and then I go right to a grounding source and that has helped quite a bit with the static issues that you get in certain parts of the country I guess it's worse in other places maybe with drier climates um, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it's just a, a way to do it. They also have copper uh, shielding that you can use. Some people line these cavities with the copper or, or the aluminum, so, you know. And there's also a paint that you can use, so uh, non-conductive paint. Or 
conductive pain, I should say. Uh, and then they use it as a ground, as a shield. So anyway, uh, there you go. I'm going to do that and, and try to get around every piece. Uh, I just make sure I cover the majority of it, especially in the places where your hand's going to rub and cause static electricity. Okay, so. Just a thought and idea, especially if you're having static problems and you'll know it because you're strumming and you hear shh, shh, you actually hear a ticking, almost like a popping sound uh, coming through your amp and it's because you're building up static electricity on these pick guards. Okay, like I said, you can take a smaller piece uh, and, you know, near the grounding area, you take a wire off of here, solder it to here, small wire. And then um, you would, con well, actually you would tape it here, a bare wire. Say, for instance, I'm just going to give you an example here. If you had a piece of wire like this, cut it, strip off the end, uh, go ahead and tape it across there with some of this electric, electrical tape. I mean this, uh, this uh, tape here. You can even put a bigger piece. Uh, and kind of do it in a way so that it'll, uh, you know, kind of form into a hole there. You don't want to put it here and it's going to go across there. You're going to have a hump. So it's got to kind of be formed in a spot that would correspond with the hole, with the cavity, and then the wire would connect to a ground, okay? It could even be a longer wire that goes, that's connected here and it ends up going through here to a ground, you can do it however you want to the nearest ground. This is what the tape looks like. Uh, comes, I think this came off a roll. Um, and then, uh, kind of rolled up somewhere, I don't know where it went. Anyway, in this particular case you can see um, one of the things, they put this um, copper plate on the ones from the custom shop, like this is from the Fender custom shop, it's Tex-Mex pickup, and uh, this is actually a good modification. A lot of people are putting these brass plates on there and it really helps with the sound quality uh, of the Tex-Mex pickups and other pickups, so that's a mod that they use for, uh, it makes it brighter sounding so I guess they figured that out and that's part of the coolness of, a, of the sound that they get from a Tex-Mex is that uh, little copper plate there that's part of what you get when you buy a Tex-Mex bridge pickup from the custom shop. You can see on the uh, standard bridge pickup it doesn't have the brass oh excuse me the copper plate there uh, but you can get the plate to put on these. I, you know, you can get them online, I guess, to make your regular standard bridge pickup. Uh, you know, it'll affect the tonality of it. So you can read up on it to see if you want to do something like that. Here you see me using a piece of tape to uh, to kind of tape and ground the. Uh, the wire that's going to be used as the ground, you're just taping it down and making sure that metal to metal contact, this is bare and it's going to go onto the ground wire here. Once I put this back on, I'm going to connect it right here. So, you can see I got it all pieced back together, all the screws in and the pickups in. And um, I tested it. One of the ways that I tested is putting the switch forward, uh, having the guitar plugged into a small amp, and you know your volume's all the way up. You should be able to hear a tapping noise because it's saying, you know, it's supposed to be for that pickup. In the middle, you should hear both, and in the back, just you should just hear the back and not in the front. So you know that that is wired correctly. Get the volume. Okay. So that's a good way to test. You have to have something metal, metallic to kind of tap on it so that you get the good a sound so you know that it's 
wired correctly. And of course, I was doing that all along while I was doing the wiring to make sure everything was right before I put it back together. You don't want to just wire it and then test it. You do it while it's all apart so you know everything's working correctly. They do sound a lot brighter uh, than the regular pickups that came with it. Different sound altogether. Um, so that's basically how you can do a tele setup on a uh, or a text mix setup with pickups. Uh, it did work the way that I said as far as the wiring was concerned. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to put uh, just audio up of the two different sounds. Okay, um, so I'll put the because I recorded it before I took the pickups out. And then I recorded it afterwards, so I'll just put a couple of minutes of that so you can hear the sound of this guitar uh, with uh, the old pickups and then with the new ones. So, thanks for watching EdsGuitarLessons.com. God bless you and have a great day. Okay, I'm just going to do a sound check here with uh, the old uh, string, old pickups.